right. And here we are. Um, We're back to the second half now. Of yeah, the, there's the training. Of the, yeah, the first um, chapter, I would say. Uh, we're going to weapons orientation now. Uh, there's one more orientation mission after this. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. <sighs> Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys. Or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. Sounds great. Are you serious? Absolutely. I excelled at the academy. This should be fun. Well, all right. Usually I get a lot of resistance to the training exercise. Or a comment from new recruits about how their guns check out. And then they flex. It's pretty tiresome. Oh, guns. Right. So, where do I go now? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. Yeah, it, I would say there's enough going on with this game to where you really should just role play it out and not worry about trying to min max people liking you or hating you. Um, there are benefits and negatives to both. Then aim down range and take some shots at the target. I appreciate that. Are you going for all dick shots here? <laughs> yep. Good aim. Now, steady your aim. It's not about killing them. It's about preventing their lineage. Precision shots can take exactly. Down the you, you don't want to create any orphans, after all. Um, <laughs> so the the way that critical hits work is you have to keep your crosshair still, and you have to keep it on the enemy within a certain range. Uh, and once it turns completely red, then you can get a critical. And headshots matter too. Um, these are the submachine guns. They are shit garbage, and you shouldn't use them. I, I, I don't, I don't, I rarely enjoy submachine gun in any game, honestly. I don't, yeah. I don't like shot spread, and it kind of really goes against accuracy. Yeah, and I mean, I would never, I never enjoyed playing the play style in this game where, um, you run and gun. It's not really, it doesn't, it's not really conducive to this game. Even even more fast-paced shooters, I tend to take at a plodding pace. I've and the door to the I, I mean, considering this is more an Let's RPG than a shooter, it, I just wouldn't want to play it that way. Yeah, it's it's not ideal. Now, with the so now we're being timed. I don't know why that first close. shot missed. Accuracy rating. Yeah. <laughs> RPG. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's the kind of thing that weirded people out about this game, but it's not necessarily. Why am I missing? It's like, well, guns miss in real life. Yeah. They're not all. It's not like a perfect ray cast to the target every time. Yeah. Now for the shotgun. Holding the trigger steady and firing. Now the shotgun can be useful if you get in a pinch. That's like. It's more accurate than the um. Then the submachine guns and the critical hits are more reliable. Shotguns um, are always the option. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take this shotgun as my secondary weapon uh, most of the time. I uh, I like the accuracy on it personally. Submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but. Oh, do it subtly. Do it quietly. Yeah, it's better if you do. Um, I forgot that these guys pop up. Now, your misses count against your score here, so you're going to be tempted to, like, spray your submachine gun, uh, but you shouldn't. Um, the assault rifle, as long as you keep it still, it'll it'll um, crit even if you're not aimed at an enemy. So, um, range doesn't matter as much with the assault rifle. Um... So it does come in handy on a couple of missions. Not as often as the shotgun does, but it it is a viable weapon. The only real non-viable weapon is the shot submachine guns. They just suck. Yeah. I, I, in games like this, I probably wouldn't enjoy sniper rifles very much either. 
There is no sniper rifle. It, okay, there's an that's, assault that's, rifle. That's good. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Oh. Huh. Well, good luck to him, I guess. Hasn't he already gone through this training, though? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my... affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. We're gonna have to do a cage match? Not if I can help it. But no, Mike. We don't do cage matches as part of the training. Oh. So, can I get my score on the course? Oh, I did fuck this up. Oh. For Did shake. I leave? That's one of the most impressive scores I've seen. With that in mind, you did so well, I'm wondering if you'd be up for something more challenging. A bonus round. This course is a joke. Did you scale it down for that jackass? I could walk the rest of the way. Jackass? Now I'm hurting. So will Darcy. Did I mention we don't use live rounds? They still sting, though. I'm listening. Go in there. And if you can hit Darcy where it counts, that'd be worth a recommendation in my report. And worth some rep with Westridge. And it'd be earned. Sure, sounds good. Any preference on weapon? These targets are pretty easy for someone to hit. Thornton could have aced this thing blind. Give me the gun. Give me the gun! <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let's start with the pistol again. Don't worry. We're using tranquilizer rounds. So you won't be doing any last Unlike that first part where you were killing them. <laughs> all, the, all the guards. Now that was I, I that know. was Trank I know. Trank ammo too, so. but um the implication is that Trank ammo still hurts. <laughs> it's, it's, it's you're trading an immediate death for a slow toxic death. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you just <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's the bonus round for this oh, mission. Yeah. That's Can very, very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love just just letting the cursor linger over his head while the critical hit builds up. He's not paying attention. <laughs> his, his scream was really good. All right, let's see here. Well done. Critical hit. I don't think I have to worry about Darcy coming by again. Anything else I can do? No, Agent Thornton. Mission accomplished. If you haven't seen Westridge yet, you may want to pay him a visit after all the training is done. You've certainly aced this exercise. The CIA entries is that you can get insight into which stanchions you should take during conversations. Uh, ah, okay. So it pays to do re background research. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we do a thread for this, I might post This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I may be new to this, but not that new. Don't you have interns for that? No, we don't. You're Michael Thornton, Westridge's candidate. Hopefully, yes. It was a lot like the Untouchables route. I was fresh out of basic... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar with the reference. You were chosen not because of skill or experience, but because you're under the radar of most intelligence agencies. Flattering. Obviously, Westridge sees potential in you. Let's see if it's earned. So... Orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume. I'm not that green. We'll see. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. Anything else I should know about running this course? Yes. I suggest you do it quickly. And talking gives your position away. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Lame. So, yeah, this this mission is the stealth mission, and um, course begins now. it also goes Active through the um, the, the minigames again. It's it's probably the least necessary of the three because you get the intro to teach you all that stuff anyway. It, it's but, probably um, useful just to do a recap. Yeah, I want. It's also pretty fun. So I want to know how they got all of these cement dividers up here. <laughs> yeah, they've got well, some... down here presumably. Well, I mean, but I mean, on the level you were just on, like this whole thing seems to have been put together by a forklift that could not have escaped. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, they they assembled a forklift in here, and it's still in the corner, hidden by fucking <laughs> cement <laughs> shit. <laughs> I tried to ghost this, but I didn't. Speaking of ghosting stuff, I finally saw the third Riddick movie. Oh yeah? It's 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 the best one. Really? It it, it easily I might have to check that out. It's it's a lot of fun, so that, that would be a, a, if you if you just want some fun action with and, and you can't go wrong with Vin Diesel's kind of lovable goof. Yeah. Have you seen him in think about this. Your score is based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. Outstanding. Well above average. Especially for a trainee. Okay. You want to run it again? No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Did I do much better than the other recruits? You're the first raw recruit we've gotten since Alpha Protocol started. Then it wasn't too bad, I guess. It felt a little easy, but... Of course not enough of a challenge for you? No. Then I have an assignment for you. This one won't be locked. What? You mean like a covert training op? Aren't you guys carrying orientation too far? Nothing of that Alpha Protocol is orientation, Agent Thornton. Despite the semantics. The penalty for getting caught, however, won't be a poor score. It'll be detention. So, are you up for it or not? Well, I'm up for it. Let me see what you need. You want me to head back to the medical center? Why? What's the file name? Jacob. Not only will this be a much more practical use of your talents, but I think you'll be curious to see where in the world you're going to be sent. Any other intel I should be aware of? Nothing you can't find out on your own. We aren't even having this conversation right now. And the clock is running. Got it. Wait, like, so I'm assuming this is still within the training facility that you have to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to go back to where you were drugged. Huh. So, That's um... pretty clever. If you screw up here, you can accidentally go to the like the next part of the story and skip orientation. That but really sucks because it takes forever to get back to the main menu. I assume the the skip is by way of detention. Um, no, no, you just go into the room where the next guy is, and you just skip the rest of orientation. Ah. Uh, so this and, is yeah. this is letting you into an area that you wouldn't normally be able to. Well, not now. Yeah, like. We're going back to where we started, basically. Now, there's a guy up on the upper level that um, looks down over the barricade. So, um, you actually have to be more careful here than you think you do, because um, you just... This guy can see you pretty easily. That's why I'm keeping the camera aimed up there. Um... So that's mostly why I screwed up on this mission a few times is because um, it's hard to tell where that guy up there is looking. I still haven't spotted have him yet. Oh, no, okay, I see the HUD indicator. Yeah. Because I, I used awareness to try and catch him. And going backwards through this area is kind of funny because, like, there's that camera and it kind of surprises you in a way that... Doesn't surprise you when you're going back the other way. Yes, yeah, you're. I'm gonna that. spend some AP here. I'm gonna buy um, a second point of stealth, and that's gonna give me um, an upgrade to my awareness skill um, that decreases the cooldown and increases the duration of it. So I'll have radar for a bit longer. I'm kind of glad the radar isn't just like a Metal Gear circle. No. Um, it's a bit nicer this way. Um, also, if you um, if you pick up all the tranquilizer darts that are around here, they'll come in useful later. Like, you keep them going into your first proper um, mission hub. Oh, I like stuff like that. Yeah. 
There's also, um, back down on the first floor, there were a couple of dossiers I picked up that would come in handy later. Oh, I kind of assumed they were part of your objective, so you, you were just doing the pass. Yeah. It's easy to miss those, but they they do have some interesting interesting information on them. This guy can surprise you too. And you'll also want to grab this money over here. This is easy to miss too. So for for me as someone who's not really played a lot of the Deus Ex, how, how would you compare the the two? Well, I mean, in terms of uh, the player's impact on the story and, and the way that the story is uh, agile to the way that the player behaves, there's nothing that beats the original Deus Ex, but this is close. This is about as close as, as a modern video game has ever been. That's 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 high praise. <laughs> yeah. Um, Considering, I, I mean, I guess I, that's what I expect out of Obsidian, right? Yeah, it's it's too bad that this game isn't super well known. Um, the, the, there are combat problems. The stealth isn't like amazing or anything. There's there's flaws to this game, but I'd say you know the peaks are worth it. The the high points are worth the low points. So is this guard searching for you presently? Um, no, he's just kind of wandering around. So, so nobody knew I showed up. Well, see, the thing is that he, I think he's the guard that you knocked out before, so I kind of get the feeling that they're so used to being knocked out that they don't really go on alert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think he's a different guy. Um, he shows up uh, as you come down to surprise you, like you think everybody's gone, and then there's a guy there that you weren't expecting. See, this is the way that you go to... To the other door is the, the this this door is will will activate story progression. It's easy to go that way by mistake. And then this is where you go to go back to um, uh, to Parker. I I'm pretty impressed by this as an optional mission. Did you do as I asked? Got the data, no problem. I'll download it from your PDA. Were you seen? Not that I know of. Yeah, well, then that'll have to be sufficient. Now that you have this file, huh? Anything you can tell me about my real assignment? You're going to the Middle East to recover stolen prototype missile technology. Your probability of success is in the lower 20th percentile. But wait, I'm going to the Middle East? I've downloaded intel onto your PDA. That should prove useful when you reach your destination. That intel you gave me, why wouldn't I have that already if I'm going on the mission? That is a good question, Agent. I would find an answer to it when you can. If not here, then in Saudi Arabia. I don't like the sound of that. Good. So when am I shipping out? After you finish your orientation with Westridge, it's customary for him to outline in a slow and plodding way his expectations for you. And then he'll send you to fetch, like a good dog. So you get to stay in the kennel, then? Yes. An apt comparison, Agent. And if I were you, I would relish my time on the outside for as long as possible. All right. Was there anything else? What do you actually do here? My primary role is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler during sensitive missions. So you've been on a lot of Alpha Protocol Ops? Key ones, yes. I was involved in the events leading up to your assignment, in fact. How? I took on the role of a contractor. An accountant. Money is one of the easiest ways to track events. It often leaves the best fingerprints. So you're a spy? Mm, I'm an observer. I rarely take action. But the smallest event, if analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly, could have great repercussions. And that's where I come in. To interpret events. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado? That kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. 
Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So, what, you're like a political fortune teller? I thought economists had the market cornered. Yes, it's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. Ever get much of a break? The world is never asleep, and neither am I. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, Alpha Protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. If that's your job, that's your job. Seems to me like it could be a lot worse. Actually, you have no idea. I am merely stating the facts. If you want to debate them, do it silently. So that janitor comment. I hit it right the first time around. So in short, yes. I clean up after others. And if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. What does that mean, exactly? This place cannot be found. If Alpha Protocol is compromised, any evidence of the program must be deleted. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route, or... What happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the people? Expendable. Are you serious? You are serious. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. It was I was joke. just joking about killing everybody that you've seen here. <laughs> and you too. It was all joke. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So let's just um, wrap so, up this uh, this intro chapter here. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it won't come up, but I'm calling it This Place is Wired with Gas. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Ner nerve gas everywhere. So I uh, leveled up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab another point of um, stealth. That'll give me the silent running skill. You'll see me use that later. And then I'm gonna pick up a point of pistols, um, which just improves the accuracy and stability of your pistols. So you were talking about how most of the you skills you are gonna have to fight sometimes. You're talking about how most of the skills are useless. What is sabotage? Sabotage has some handy skills in it. I would actually recommend putting points into Sabotage third. Because it, it, I'm assuming that it, uh, it allows right. you to compromise various things. We're looking at um, Westridge's bio or his, his dossier information re real quick here. It just, um, there's a hint there that the aggressive, the Y button stance is what he prefers most of the time. I just wanted to show you that the dossier um, does have hints like that in there. It specifically says he doesn't like suave, he doesn't like professional, he likes... You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. Maybe it's their training that's in question, not mine. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report on your weapon skill was impressive. In fact, I think you outperformed many other guards. And it's your first day. What can I say? Top of my class at the academy. If you read my charts. 
You did read them, didn't you? Oh, I did. It was hard getting through the pages detailing your overconfidence. Well, as long as you read the charts, that's all that matters. I'm a little surprised Mina was paying attention to my firing skills at all, actually. Careful. If you get any more full of yourself, not even this facility will be able to hold your ego. And here's a surprise. A positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side, as usual. But he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh... What was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I get an opinion? Or is that a rhetorical question? All right, let me be more specific. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. If you're telling me I have an attitude problem, then you could have read that in my file. No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. <laughs> what do I care what others think? You shouldn't. Having a bad or good rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places, and your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? I don't have time to chat when there's work to be done, and it sounds like it'll just leave me vulnerable if I go down the wrong road. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. I don't see how. The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Why wouldn't I just shoot someone instead of talking to them? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know what provokes someone? I'd rather rattle them if I can. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Well, I read the recruiting pamphlet. Got me this far. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. 
Makes sense to me. I'd rather get a firefight over with as quickly as possible. Amen to that. Our records are complete, so use them when you have downtime. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. At what point can I start accessing personnel records and conducting surveillance? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group? Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. <sighs> okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That's Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. But how did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. About time I'm getting tired of this place. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Rising. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's the sort of place that that would happen. Okay, so so that's it for Gray Box, which is the first chapter. Kind of learning. Um, that's a, that's a good chapter name. Show you. It kind of learning that yeah. this organization is like not necessarily a good guy, just maybe lesser of both evils sort of situation. And and there's orphans created third from the bottom. Love it. So you you is it even possible to create orphans in this one? Like this first mission? Uh, no, not in this first chapter, yeah. But every chapter after this. Okay. So um, next uh, next chapter will be in Saudi Arabia. I'm, I'm interested in seeing where this goes. It's definitely not taking all of the obvious routes, and I appreciate that most of all, I think. 